Oh, hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Okanagan Gardener and Forager channel. Today I'm going to talk about a flower that is found in a lot of gardens and it's actually supported by a lot of studies to be, well, it's nutritious and it's found by, supported by a lot of studies to actually be very healthy and have a lot of medicinal applications. That, oh, and it's also a video that's going out by request. So, yeah, without any further delay, uh, uh, the video is about calendula. Calendula. Scientific name Calendula officinalis. Also known as pot marigold. They are a member of the Asteraceae family. That's like flat flowers like sunflowers and daisies and things like that. And they are flowers that have flower heads with many uh, ray florets. That's what would people would call probably the petals. These are the ray florets on the outside and then on the inside are a collection of disc florets. So it's actually like a whole bunch of uh, tiny little flowers in there. If you can see them like a sunflower. It's edible. It grows easily and apparently, like here, it was planted once and it keeps on going. So is this wild edible? Maybe not exactly, but in some places it's become established and grows on its own. And uh, it has been used for centuries externally and internally. It grows 12 to 18 inches tall. And the flowers are yellow, orange, red, or purple. It is indigenous to Europe, but now it can be found in many places in North America. And uh, it has smooth and waxy stems. Little bits of, a little bit, of, little bit hairy on them. And leaves that are somewhat toothed. The petals of calendula are high in carotenoids. It's a type of antioxidant, and it's, uh, it gives yellow, red, orange color to plants, like uh, other ones that, have, that are high in carotenoids would be like apricot, asparagus, uh, water, uh, not watermelon, cantaloupe, things like that are red and orange in color. Sorry, not red. Orange and yellow, squash. Anyways, the whole flowers can be dried and added to soups or used to make tea. It tastes peppery and to bitter flavor and may have a flavor kind of like saffron. And people, the, the petals, but the ray florets, those are edible. Calendula has been widely studied and a lot of studies show that it has quite a few medicinal benefits. And some of those are, it's anti-inflammatory, it promotes healing, it's antibacterial, antifungal, it uh, stimulates menstruation, stimulates bile. Uh, it is used topically, and it's actually put in a lot of uh, creams and things like that. Uh, used for topical things such as rashes, stings, wounds. Uh, wounds because it speeds the healing. It uh, also for eczema, burns, cuts, swelling, and it has been used on uh, cracked, n cracked and sore nipples from breastfeeding, postpartum perennial tears, and for diaper rash. For medicinal purposes, it can be used uh, in teas and tinctures, uh, used as a poultice, as a salve. Uh, and if you're going to use it for medicines, you would take the whole, uh, the whole head of the flower, not just the petals. But I'm going to eat some of them this morning, so I will take the whole head off, but I'm just going to use the petals, the ray florets. And they are nice flowers, and uh, they seed. So, if you want to have them in your garden and keep them from seeding, 
and also keeping them looking nice, then you have to deadhead them like this. So am I deadheading or harvesting? I don't know, maybe both. Next to the calendula, here's some mallow. So why don't I take some of that? Like I said, I'm just gonna be eating the, the petals or the ray florets. Maybe you can see a little more. Uh, there's a whole bunch of little flowers in there. Some of the mallow cheeses. Here's what it looks like. I don't normally make my food look fancy like that, but you know. I'll try it out. Tastes good. Maybe a little peppery. You got a mallow cheese. Mmm, tastes fresh, tastes good. So there you have it, a description of calendula and a way that you can eat it in a meal. Uh, a couple points of caution, it should not be used by pregnant women because it uh, stimulates menstrual flow. Uh, and also, the, you could have allergic reactions to it, so uh, if you're going to use it topically, then be careful, maybe try a little bit before you go too far. And uh, anyways, if you liked the video and found it useful, then please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.